passing of the president's infrastructure bill is sending hundreds of millions of dollars to North Carolina airports. Charlotte Douglas will see the biggest chunk of that money, grabbing more than $43 million over the next five years. And you've likely seen all that construction going on. If you've been to the airport lately, it seems never ending. Yeah, absolutely. So the big question is going to be where is all that money going and how soon will all of those projects wrap up? Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard joins us now to break down where all of that funding is going to be headed for Charlotte Douglas. And Hawker, there are a lot of improvement projects happening at the airport. Yeah, there are so many happening right now that we've just lost track, and I'm sure passengers are stressed out seeing all of it. But the most emergent project we have right now is the construction going on at the ticket lobby. That's when you come into the airport and you have to get your boarding pass, check your bags. That's all kinds of construction and red tape you have to walk through. But I will tell you that that A, B side of the project is done, and they're going to be starting on the other side, which is the C, D, and E side. So there's a whole nother half of that uh, project to be put up. And this is what it looks like inside that construction zone right now. And it's going to improve passenger movement as they're able to use a consolidated security checkpoint once this is all done. But none of that, of course, is going to be done until 2025. So a lot of time still in the hopper for that project. Hawker, as our airport grows, we're going to need more security lanes. And that video was so interesting. Yeah. And they're inside all of that construction going on. Yeah, so I guess with more lanes, does that mean we're going to have more gates as well coming to the airport? Yeah, there's going to be more people and more planes. It's rush hour right now, and the planes are just never ending. But we're looking at about 20 more gates right now. And as you can see here in this graphic, we're going to add what's called stingers to the end of the B and the C concourse. So that's the addition of more gates to the already constructed concourse. And uh, what that's going to do is allow more passengers to, of course, make it to more flights, to more destinations. Cities like Dallas-Fort Worth have already done this with a handful of their international gates. But um, the not so popular option that's coming back at some airports like Los Angeles International Airport is parking that plane out on the tarmac and then having to get off on a pair of air stairs, take a bus and then get to the terminal. So thankfully, we haven't seen that yet here at Charlotte Douglas. Yeah, uh, I, that, I'm going to say no <laughs> on that one. I hate having to do that. Right. Uh, OK, so Hawker, we've, we've kind of hinted at it right now. We're seeing all the traffic behind you. We're talking about more passengers, more security lines. So. What about a way to actually get more planes there, a new runway? Is that going to be built? Yeah, it's actually going to be right where I'm standing right now. And we're at the Overlook Park, and this is going to be gone and relocated here soon, hopefully with the Carolinas Aviation Museum, a new consolidated area. But that all started with the closure of runway 235. And here on this graphic, you can see it's the runway that cuts across the whole airfield there. So they close that so we can add those stingers to the end of the gate, just like we talked about previously there. So the runway that's closed is going to allow those concourse extensions to happen. The fourth runway I said is going to be right here. And we're going to have another whole bit of taxiway here to allow more planes to land all simultaneously. So hopefully this money is going to propel us forward, be a model for other larger cities hoping to make themselves a world class example, guys. Yeah, much needed new runway there at Charlotte Douglas. Thank you so much, Hawker, for joining us. And we will certainly be watching those airport renovations as they continue.